All right. So welcome to the Dream Achievers Weekly. We've been doing these weekly Zoom team calls. My name is Sherry Fredericks, and I'm excited to see all your smiling faces. Um, so super fun. And we have a special guest on this evening, and she's in the middle of my screen. And mm -hmm. that is our Jill Blyzik Strahan. Oh our CEO and founder. So I'm just delighted to have her join us this evening. So thank you, Jill. Oh, well, congratulations, Sherry. I mean, the you know, you are the rock star girl. You earned a Jill visit. And this is not exactly what we thought it would be, but it's is for now what we're, what we're gonna make do with. But congratulations on earning. Do they all know why I'm on the call, Sherry? Uh, not, probably not. Do you wanna share what you did to achieve this? So I can't actually remember the details. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a Jill challenge, and I oh, you know me. If you know me, I love challenges. So I earned a Jill visit. It was back in whenever it was, and it was scheduled for March or April. I think it was April 30th. Anyway, with COVID, of course, it didn't happen. So right now, there was, I think, five other earners, six other earners, and Jill has graciously agreed to take some of her time and join us on Zoom. So here she is. So... I'm super excited. So what we're going to do, you guys, is we're going to talk victories here in a minute. I'm going to limit it to five. And when you share your victory, I want a couple of things. I want you to share your name because there's so many of us on. How long you've been in the business. So Jill kind of gets an idea plus the others. And then where you live. And then there'll be five victories. We're going to go from victories to quick recognition for May. Then we're going to get into some of the amazing things going on in June. And then we're going to end with our Jill, and she's going to do a little Q&A. So that's what we have on, on tap here. Um, so let's get started um, with some victories. And like I said, I just, I'd love for you all to share a victory, but we don't have enough time for that. So again, share a victory, business-related, please. Your name, how long you've been in the business, where you live, and your victory. Who would like to get started? I'll go. Hi. I'm Kim Harris, and I have been, hey, Jill. I've been with the company for 19 years, and I'm in Omaha, the Omaha area anyway. Um, and my victory this month is one of my goals since we were at leadership um, was to re-promote to gold, and we have hit the last two months. So I'm really excited. <laughs> Do the wave. It's the wave. Guys, you gotta do the wave. It's kind of fun. Look at everybody doing the wave. There, oh, see? That's a great idea. Well, congratulations, Kim. That's fantastic. That's awesome. Back to gold she is. Okay, who's next? I can share. Yeah, go ahead, Tracy. Uh, my name is Tracy Plouts. I've been with Tastefully Simple a little over 10 years now. And um, I had a really good April and May month. So I was able to buy my kiddos a big swing set for our backyard. That was the goal because I hit 3,000 in sales. Wow. And this last month, I was really, really close to 3,000 again as we had to buy a new door, patio door, and a dryer because that decided to go out. And I was able to cover all of it off of commission. Wow. So super excited. Congratulations, Tracy. Thanks, Jill. So fun. A swing, a swing set, a patio door, and a dryer? Yep. Girl, you've been busy. All the essentials. <laughs> <laughs> and and Tracy, you should share that picture on the team page when you get it's a chance because I, I did should. See it. Yeah, yes. you should. That was it's fun. Thanks for the reminder. Yeah. Send it to me too if you would. Okay. Because <laughs> I, I don't think I'm on your page, Sherry. Nope. We should add you. Yeah. Uh Tammy Smith, don't be shy. I'm gonna have you share your victory. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, Sherry. I'm Tammy Smith. I've been with Tastefully Simple just a little over 10 years as well. I live in Nevada. And last month, I had my very first Facebook party. And I had a total of $1,864 in sales. Shut the fuck up! 
<laughs> and I had 32 orders out of that. And one of those orders went to Japan. So I was pretty excited. <laughs> wow. I know. And I, I did sell over 2000 for the month. So I was very happy about that as well. <laughs> The way for Tammy! Yay! Yay. Yay. That is so awesome! <laughs> that is amazing! Yeah, great job, Tammy. That is that is fantastic. Can I just ask one quick question? I'm sorry, this isn't in your victories piece, but what created that? What would you say was the number one thing that created that, Tammy? Um, you know, I feel that it was showing the um, product being made into something product, you know, and then how it's packaged. And then of course the recipes and people went crazy. I had people re reordering because they were so excited. I, it was about a seven day party. And I think that was what did it. Wow. So recipes and were you like preparing products on Facebook videos or anything, or just posting recipes and photos? Just posting recipes and photos. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Sorry, I'm deviating from your agenda, Sherry. I apologize. No, 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 that's okay. That's okay. That is cool. Yep. Congratulations, Congratulations, Tammy. Thank you. Can I just ask a quick question with the recipes? Did you just download the recipe and do the picture, or did it come off of Get Social? Uh, it came up with the Get Social. I just went out to Tastefully Simple and moved it over to my Facebook party page. It's amazing. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. You've got great stuff, Jill. <laughs> <laughs> you guys do know I don't even like to cook. So yeah, there's that. But, but, I, but we all eat, right? So uh, it's the team that, that creates a product line. I give the approval and I know, you know what I like and what I think might do well. But yeah, thank you. I'll, I'll pass that along. Very funny. Okay, guys, time for two more. Who else wants to share? I'll share. Stephanie? Hi. Hey. hey, this is Stephanie. I am in year eight with Tastely Simple. Uh, I live in Perham, Minnesota. I moved here from Iowa. My upline is no longer active with Tastely Simple, so Sherry has adopted me. Um, I am a nice round number, $75 away from my very first trip ever. Oh, yeah. yeah, so excited. And uh, also have hit copper and now bronze with the awesome April Joint Incentive and my small but mighty team. Congratulations. Yay. Yay. You know, Stephanie comes to our monthly meetings when we had monthly meetings. And Stephanie, I want to say in February, did you even have a team? No. Yeah, I mean this. <laughs> well, I had three TS perks, but no active um, sellers. Right. So this just all happened from April on. Congratulations. Yeah. That is yeah, awesome. Yep. Thank and you for April's joint incentive. <laughs> Hey, grace of God, you're welcome. Yep, that was fantastic. I can hear you now. Hey, Natalie. Hello, my friends. She's <laughs> on. Natalie Heckard, shut up. <laughs> I can even hear you. Hi, Hi. Cutie pie, what are you up to? <laughs> I'm gonna I hang out with all y'all. I get to hang out with all y'all. <laughs> right? <laughs> We're that excited so to to have Natalie on. Okay, guys, time for one more victory and then we're going to move on. Who else wants to share? I just finished learning the trip too this month. Yeah. And who's speaking? Yeah. Who's speaking? I can't see you. Teresa. All right, Teresa, why don't you share with everybody else? I just finished learning the trip this time for next year. And how Good for you. fantastic. How long have you been with TS and where do you live? Oh. Teresa Nielsen, I'm from Sioux Falls, and I'm just starting my 13th year. Wow. Unbelievable. Well, congratulations, Teresa. And Teresa's been on quite a few trips, so this is wonderful to keep that momentum going. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Congratulations, Teresa. Thank you. And Teresa's rocking her grandson. That's She's not just moving. I know. You're not doing this. Just, I was <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. <laughs> Teresa, Teresa, we're, ha we're happy you're here. 
Okay. Well, I know there's other victories to share, but we're going to keep moving on. So I wanted to just share a little bit. Today's June 1st, and May was another amazing, amazing month. So you'll see the more of the details on the team page tomorrow. But I did want to recognize our top three in sales. And number one with over 6,000 in sales is Desiree. And I know Desiree's on the call here. Desiree. You had $6,298 for the month of May. Woo. Woo Desiree, share with us. Desiree lives in Duluth, the Duluth, Minnesota area. Share with us one thing that you did to make that happen. Just one highlight. Uh, host coaching, I would say. My mm -hmm. biggest improvement that I worked on in May. I made, I made my series of videos. I think I shared with you guys this before, yep. but I made my th series of three short videos that I've been sending to my Facebook party hosts. And it has made a huge difference in the size of my Facebook parties. In May and it, um, everything just went amazing. <laughs> <laughs> And Desiree, that is fantastic. And you guys, we Desiree did share, it was two yes. Zooms ago and we did record it. So if you wanna hear a little bit more about what Desiree and Tracy did, we had a, a Zoom call and it was on a Monday and it was on host coaching. So Desiree, fantastic. Congratulations. Just, if I could just ask one question, in the short video, what was the biggest uh, attractor? You know, what, what helped uh, attract people to attend the party? Well, I did. I only show the videos to the host. So, yeah, but they, but, but it motivates them to do something more, right? So I tell them to get excited and to share their excitement with their friends. And I challenge them to post in their party. A lot of people until now, they don't post and they just rely on me to do all the posting for them. So mm -hmm. I challenge them to make up, make their own post in some way, shape, or form in their party themselves mm -hmm. so that their friends can trust them about how excited they are instead of trusting me, the crazy sales lady. <laughs> so <laughs> not that crazy. So <laughs> just but, so you know, <laughs> don't know me, their friends know them. And I try to teach them that. And I also tell them invite a lot more people than what they probably think they should invite because it's all about numbers and I kind of teach them that too. That is awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. Way to go, Desiree. Thank you for sharing. Okay. At number two, and this person's to the right of my screen. I don't know if that's on your screen and her name is Laura Wilson and Laura is in, from Marion, South Dakota, Sioux Falls area. And Laura, you had, $4,402 in sales. Yay, Laura. So you were number two from the entire team of like 753 consultants. Give us one thing that you did in May to have over four, that almost $4,500 in sales, Laura. Um, COVID-19 quarantine. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. I did two, um, I guess they hit two different months, but I had two parties that were all in a quarantine group. The first one, I think my sales were $939 and the second one was over $800. And then we did some employee gifts at work um, to the tune of 80 cozy comforts. What? 80. And then we also did some gifts for our auxiliary that we have at the nursing home that have been um, mm. sticking with us and providing all kinds of goodies for our residents and for mm. the staff. So wow. we gave them um, a beer bread and a dessert. They may have gotten the equivalent of a cozy comfort too, but just didn't get ordered that way. So yeah, and I earned the trip today. Yeah! Yeah! Totally on sales. There is no sponsoring. Unbelievable. Wow. And how and how long have you uh been been with Tasis of Alora? 
Um, it will be 10 years um, next February. Amazing. And we're Congratulations. COVID free. <laughs> you what? We're COVID-19 free at the nursing home so far. So <laughs> my blessings every day. Exactly. Laura, that's wow. amazing. That's, that's fantastic. And Laura, is this your first trip? I mean, you've been to nationals or party pools. You've been to leadership. Is this no, your first I've, trip? I've earned two other trips and then I think I've earned a third one, but I couldn't go because I couldn't make the airfare pencil out. Okay. So I pulled off. Well, you got this one, girl. That's fantastic. Yep. Congratulations. Can I, I'm sorry, Sherry, but I just need to ask one more question here. Your, those uh, Cozy Comfort employee gifts, what was the occasion that they were ordering for? Um, it was nursing home week, the week of Mother's Day. And um, it's been a rough haul just trying to keep my employees to social distance and to live within those guidelines. So we always try to make Nursing Home Week a big deal at our facility. And so we also include giving the staff something um, for their work and their effort too. So mm -hmm. they got that and a free t-shirt. So they got basically supper or lunch, whatever. Congratulations. That is very, very cool, Laura. Thank you. And you got the trip, Laura. I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, number three in sales for the month of May. I see her near the bottom of the screen. Her name starts with an S, ends with an A. Sheila Rupert from Watkins, Minnesota, yeah. which is by St. Cloud. Sheila, you had over $4,000. You had $4,035. Congratulations. Yay! Sheila. And it's fun to see wow. your, smi your smiling face. Now, I know people want to know how you sold over four grand. One thing, one thing. Um, I would agree with Laura, COVID-19. <laughs> I, was, I was furloughed from my regular job for the whole month of April um, and did really well in April and booked more online parties off of those parties. So I had um, five online parties in May. All my hosts did awesome. And I think people just needed our food. Mm -hmm. Yep. I agree. I agree. Well, good job, Sheila. And thank you for thank zooming you. in so, so we can see you. Yeah. Congratulations, <laughs> Sheila. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank Excellent. you. Okay. So, and like I said, if you want to see the top 10, tune in tomorrow on the team page and you can see if you made the top 10. So that's fantastic. Okay. Moving on to sponsoring. I see someone in the middle of the screen here and her name starts with an A and our Amy Rollinger from Harrisburg, South Dakota sponsored two people in May. Yes. Hey, Amy. Amy, 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 can you share with us one tip on that? I uh, have a website. That's a big one. Okay. Yep. If people can find you, they know you still exist. And I literally had never met the one girl. She's like, hey, I just punched um, in your name and you live kind of by me. So that I realize is luck and doesn't get any true accolades. But the website is what I will give credit for that one. Um, the other one is a team member that I, um, you know, she's still in my stuff. And so decided, hey, I, I'm thinking about doing this again. I have a, a second team member, so a possible third person coming back as well. Just, you know, just, just, and again, I guess I would say the website because um, Basically Simple does a really good job of sending out information on a regular basis, um, whether that's, hey, this is a special or, hey, this is, you know, whatever, whatever. And my name is attached to it, thankfully, because I would not have, had time to send them on the regular basis. I remember back when we had to do it on our own and mine were real consistent for about two weeks. And then <laughs> I kind of fell off the wagon almost every time. So I appreciate the, um, that. And I, I think there's just the importance of, sorry. Uh, sorry. Um, <laughs> of staying in, engaged even when you have three kids running three different directions and your husband is mm -hmm. running a fourth direction because he's a principal. So hang in there. <laughs> it's crazy, but it's worth it. Amy, it's so good to see you. 
Good to Jill. Congratulations. Thank you. That's cool. And look how tan Amy looks. I'm jealous. Of course, you are um, really yep. tan. We've already we've already started. Uh, we've been working on a deck project. Um, oh, I forgot. And I'm from Harrisburg, South Dakota. I um, am so proud of two team members who already got to um, we got to sing their praises, Teresa and Laura. Congratulations to both of you guys, real quick. But um, we have I've been with Tastefully Simple 16 years, so it's it's crazy. I know. So um, uh, it's been a good ride. Super fun. Congratulations. Thanks, Jill. Yeah, congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks again, Amy. And again, tune into the team page to see who else made the top in sponsoring. But because time is going by and we are waiting for Jill, but we also have some other really great things to talk about, we're going to move into our jump and jive sales incentive. And I've asked the amazing Kim Harris to enlighten us. And Kim, are you able to do share screen? I think so. Oh, okay. fancy. Kim uh, is going to share with us the Jump and Jive Sales Incentive for June. Take it away. Well, um, Ms. Sherry, if you hadn't disabled host uh, participation of screen sharing, I could do it. <laughs> oh, well, Kim. You want to share and I'll talk? <laughs> I did not do that on purpose, you little stinker. Um, <laughs> Okay, so we are talking the sales incentive, correct? Yes. So incentive, not the host, but the client. I bet it's right here. No. Nope. Not client. Consult. Up at the top, jump and jive, do you see? There you go. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I was gonna say another easy place to get to that, if you can't find it there, is always looking at your month in a glance, and that's, all those specials are there as well. So um, if you can't find it one way, look a different way. Um, but I love this incentive. Um, the prizes are fantastic. And um, everyone should at least get those funky fun socks. Um, the way it works, it's based on your sales. And um, at level one is $600 in sales. And you earn a free pair of those cool blue and green socks which I'm sure my daughter will steal as soon as we get here. Um, I never have socks. She always steals them all. Um, and um, level two is, uh, is at $1,200, and you get those fun socks and then also a Supper Hero t-shirt. Um, they have both men's and women's, so you can choose um, what you like best. And those, if you have the I Love Food t-shirt, they're by the same company. And the company oh, that we've nice. been using recently for shirts are fantastic. I love every single one I've gotten. You will wear it all the time. Um, and then level three is $2,400 in sales and you get the t-shirt, the socks, and a really cool pair of tastefully simple shoes. And, um, I've had a pair of those as well and everybody comments on, on them when you wear them. So it's a okay. great way to start conversations um, and use that. So if you look at that $2,400, everybody's talking about online parties. If your parties are averaging $400, that's six online parties. And you don't even have to leave your house. And you can get <laughs> all of that extra stuff. So um, I think everybody should be working towards that third level and have all the swag because everybody <laughs> needs the swag. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Anybody have any questions for Kim? All right. Thank you, Kim, for sharing that. Okay, so then um, we're going to jump into our 25th birthday promotion. Ooh. And oh my gosh, if you haven't checked this out on my HQ, first of all, look at that wonderful birthday cake. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to go through every single thing here, but on the top is the June sales incentive that our beautiful Kim Harris just shared with us. Um, also, to realize for our host incentive, which you can also look at, but Tastefully Simple will be calling 25 party hosts every week. And as long as the host answers the phone, happy birthday, Tastefully Simple, they'll earn an additional $25 so, in free products. So make sure when you're host coaching that you let your host know that 
25 hosts will be called every week. So how cool is that? Now, Facebook Live, Jill was on the independent consult, the Taste Place on the Simple Independent Consultant um, page today. And if you haven't seen it, hop on. It was Actually, I, that was on the corporate page. Yep, Taste Place Simple Inc. Yep. Oh, and it's a consultant page. Okay. I'm sorry. I might have said consultant. It was on, yep, you're right, the Taste Place Simple Inc. page. I love to hear those words. Can you repeat that again? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then moving on. <laughs> he didn't even humor me. If you haven't seen that the key lime cheese ball is back, who is excited about that? Yes. Now our Merlot sauce is still in stock, and I know I was stoked about that. I sold 12 Merlot sauce to a gentleman that um, loves the product, and he uses it on his wild game, and he said, I don't care if the enjoy by date is whatever. That stuff lasts forever. Yeah. So <laughs> I go, okay, Carl. So anyway, the key lime cheese balls back. And just, I don't know if you noticed, there's two packages in there. So it's a really fun deal. Then it shows our June client incentive. And then let's talk about Monday fun day deals. So every Monday in the month of June, there's some specials. Today was our coffee seasoning for $3.99. Now, Jill, I talked to Holly today by chat, and she made it sound like, correct me if I'm wrong, but that is a special that's not just for today. Is that correct? I'll, I'll trust Holly. Okay. <laughs> I knew what you're gonna say. <laughs> so any, this cinnamon coffee seasoning is amazing. And today- Does it say, does it explain it on here? How long it's available? No. We announce specials and surprises every Monday. No. But not how long the special goes. Okay, no, good question. I did live chat with her, Jill, and she said that while supplies last. So that means oh. like tomorrow it would still be, a, if it's still available in house, the special is still available. So. Okay, I'll make a note. Okay, good. Okay, just to note on that. And then week of June 15th, who doesn't love a birthday surprise? And so there's going to be some fun extra treats when you, when, a client or yourself order the week of June 15th. So um, everybody loves a surprise. And then birthday bucks are back. If you have been around for a while, we had birthday bucks last year. And that simply means when anybody orders in the month of June, they're gonna get this cute little birthday buck, um, little, bro little coupon thing that they can use in the month of July. And depending on how much they spend, they get more off. Um, did anybody see that that wants to share? I think that I think that image is possibly on um, online, but I just know that everybody will get that, and then the idea is that they can redeem it with the code in the month of July. So I think that's really fun. That will help our July sales. So, any questions on all these amazing deals and specials in the month of June? Nope. Okay, well then, so get on to my HQ and check it all out. It's just, and you know, the host special I didn't share on the screen, but holy cats, you can even host your own party, have a mystery host party, um, do online parties. There's, there's just so much opportunity out there, you guys. Um, so take advantage of our, of our birthday month. Okay, we're going to move on to Lisa Burns. I know you're on here, Lisa. You must be on my other screen. Are you ready to share? A little bit of information on Party to Paradise. I am. Yay, Lisa. Hi, Yay, Jill. Lisa. Lisa, <laughs> do you want to tell everybody just a little? I mean, I know Jill knows you. I know you, but how long? Where you live? How long you've been in business? Your leadership level? Um, Lisa Burns from Glenwood, Minnesota. Uh, been a consultant for 17 years. I am silverbound. Um, over yep. the two months, we're on track to meet the silver requirements in, through the quarterly method. So um, look, hoping for a successful June for my team so that we can maintain our silver team status. Congratulations, Lisa. That's awesome. Thanks. Um, so I am to tell you about uh, the Party to Paradise, so <laughs> our incentive trip. Um, and that is found um, in Incentives and Specials and Party to Paradise. Are you 
going to share your screen, Jill? Oh, or, I, or I can do it. I can do not it. Me. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> share screen again. Not me. Not me. Go. That was a joke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, Lisa. Okay. Um, and then the location is the Hard Rock Hotel in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. I personally have not been there, but I hear it's simply fantastic. So um, a place you want to go and especially go if you can go for free. Under the how to earn it tab, um, everyone is eligible. So even if you joined in April, you can still work toward earning the trip. Um, the dates are on that page there as well. The trip is held in April. Earning points for the trip, you have to have a minimum of $15,000 in sales. And then your other points can come from a combination of sales, sponsoring, and copper promotions. Um, so any combination to get you to the points for each level. So level one starts at 25,000 points. And that gives you your three night stay and $500 airfare, level two, 50,000 points, three night stay with your guest, and the 500 airfare allowance for two of you. Um, level three, 65,000, 75,000, and 80,000 points. Um, you guys can all read the chart, um, but that is where you start earning the Sunset River trip, which um, Someday I'm going to earn that. <laughs> Darn it, anyhow. Um, but a uh, really fabulous place, uh, Sunset River there. And then there's also um, the level four there as well. So um, definitely some different um, levels that you can set your goal for and work toward. And Lisa, where is Sunset River Retreat? In Texas. Austin, Texas. If you haven't been to Austin, Texas, it's amazing. Yes. And of course, um, I kind of like the people in Texas too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and my reason, one of my reasons for um, working towards these trips is typically um, it's a smaller group of consultants and you get to make closer connections with some of the other consultants and um you know again if you can go for free and hang out at a pool and have an all-inclusive food and beverages um definitely worth working for excellent thank you lisa great great job on presenting Very. it and lisa's been on many many of our incentive trips and has earned spots for her husband and has even taken one of her little guys um Anybody have any questions for Lisa on our incentive trip? Well, if you're not tracking, although there's many of you that are, it starts again July 1st. It's a 12 month incentive. And like Lisa just shared with you how you can earn it. And perhaps Jill will be sharing in June where the location will be like you did last June. Actually, we did it in July last year, oh, and we'll do, we'll do that in July, early July. Excellent. Okay, I was thinking the June. next location. Yeah. Okay, so stay tuned. Uh, Jill will be sharing in July where we'll be working towards next. And like Lisa said, all inclusive. You guys, we can, you can leave your checkbook or checkbook. Who uses a checkbook? You can use your leave your credit card or wallet at home, and um, you can I just still have the checkbook. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't carry it with me very much. But anyway, anyway, many of you have been here have been on the calls on the trip. So excited for that. Well, next up is Teresa and Teresa has her hands full. I don't know if she wants me to take literally, over. literally, I know literally, but Teresa is going to talk about party Palooza. Teresa, do you want me to share? Are you able to? I'll try it. And then if it gets loud, then I'll let you take over. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to share screen or what do you want? What would you like me to do? Yeah, you can put it up to the registration screen. Okay. Yep. So Party Palooza, it's our national Party. conference that is that we come together to celebrate accomplishments and what we've done made. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Daddy just came. Um, oh. 
celebrate our accomplishments that we've made through the year in our sales and sponsoring and leader developing. We get awesome training. We learn about anything new like what um, website changes or policy changes, etc. We get to learn about our new products and depending on which level you um, pay for, you even get to taste some of them. And then they also tell us, give us different ways that we can sell and use them. And they will have some recognition time too, a time to cheer our teammates and fellow consultants. And everyone can do it this year because it's all going virtual. And I'm sure it'll be a wonderful time because it's our 25th celebration. And there are three different levels that you can pay. There's a basic level, and I think that's where it's just the training for $49. And then there's the premier, and that's $99. I'm not sure what all that includes. And then the VIP is $199, and that includes everything with a lot of amenities and your um, new fall winter products. And then there's also a leader session that you can pay $25 for. So you don't have any ad ad added expenses this year with hotel or air or gas. So it's really affordable to anybody. And you can even get together with your teammates and watch it together as a team. Oh, that'd be fun. Excellent job, Teresa, you nailed it. Thank you. Thanks. I, would, Thanks. I would add for just a little bit of levity and fun, we're going to have Sarge as our DJ. Oh, that's great. It's going to be fun. It's going to be full of energy. And Teresa, thank you for sharing. You really were multitasking there. Um, but you did a <laughs> fabulous job. Um, I did reach out to Debbie Johnson today. Debbie is our... Oh, yeah. On June 5th, we find out more. Yep. Yep, June 5th, um, this will be all updated and you'll be able to register. So hang on, June 5th is just this Friday. So we're excited to see the updated, but Teresa, you shared it well. Does anybody have any questions for Teresa? Unless she had to leave here. <laughs> anybody have any questions for Party Palooza? All right. Well, now then we're going to move on again. Thank you, Teresa. I lost you on the screen, but it could be just because there's so many people on. Okay, so now we are going to move on, and we I'm going to introduce um, Jill. She is going to we're going to do a little Q and A. But you know, I just wanted to tell you a little bit. I've known Jill for almost 22 years. Um, Jill did grow up on a farm. I didn't know her before, but she grew up on a farm in Villard, Minnesota, which is outside of Alexandria. I'm also from Alexandria, but I did not know her growing up. Long story short, I was a stay-at-home mom, and I said, you know what? I need to do something on the side. Met with Jill three times before I decided to sign that agreement on paper with the pencil that she gave me. <laughs> but I what, never, what did I say to you? I think you said it's time. You handed me a pen or when I signed the agreement. Um, anyway, I've never looked back and it's been a really fun journey in so many ways. You know, I've gone on so many trips, met so many cool people, team, hosts, and traveled. So I'm just very thankful for that. But when I think of Jill, I remember the first time I met her and I was just impressed. There's just something about you, Jill, that I just knew. I knew it was going to be a great opportunity. I had faith, and I just felt like this gal's got it going on. So when I think of Jill, I think of passionate. I think of energy. I think of determination and just a heck of a lot of fun and, of course, a smart, smart businesswoman. But what I love about her and continue to love about her is her passion for all of us here. I know in her heart she really wants us to succeed, and that's through this tastefully simple opportunity. So I'm delighted to have her on this call, and I welcome Jill, and I know some of us sent you some questions, so I'm going to let you roll with it. So thank you for joining us. Well, thank you, Sherry. That that was awesome. And, uh, you know, I uh, meeting Sherry was, uh, yeah, it was obviously a blessing. It, it's a two way street, right with the business because uh, it's been a blessing for you, Sherry, I know, and it's been an equal blessing for all of us. You Sherry has been a rock star. I mean, you know, the what have been your peak sales, Sherry? Do you, do you know? I mean, like my personal sales? Yes. 
Heck, I think this year I, I'm at like 90,000 personal sales for the year, the recognition year. And, you know, I remember when it was gold leaf, it used to be 45,000 because I, again, I'm all about trips. And that was like the highest I had done. So, but it's just, you know, online fundraisers, business accounts. It's, you guys, the business is out there. It's just crazy. Exactly. And, and I just, I think for Sherry, uh, if, it, if it took her a while to make the decision, we didn't have a lot of processes or you, we would have had a, a binder for a new consultant, you know, so you had an idea of how to get started. But initially in the shed, back in Arizona pool table, which Sherry joined, you don't join while we were in the shed. Yep. And so uh, it's you have you have a rich history with us and and you know the the beautiful thing is for people who got in early people can say they're the pioneers and they and you know you, there's always reasons why people think people are successful right so you know they might have thought well Sherry got in the early years and that's how she's successful well yeah and uh, Sherry was focused and she continues to be focused she is uh, incredibly disciplined if any of you know on in all aspects of your life Sherry I mean it's like Every time I see a picture on Facebook of you biking and, you know, can, a kayaking and, and, you know, like, oh my goodness, I'm, I can't get out of, I can't get out of my chair, you know, uh, to, uh, I don't get out of my chair. I can, I don't, but uh, you know, you, your focus and your determination and your work ethic, and you have a great drive for wanting to succeed. And I, I can't imagine you ever did anything less than $45,000 in sales. <laughs> ever. Did I'm sure you? I did. I, I, I don't I, I, know. In yeah. 22 years. So, but I will say this, that, um, you know, uh, I'll make up my own question here. If, if you were to have asked, what are, what are the keys to success in, in this business? So many of you have been with us so many years, you've heard this a lot of times, but I'm going to say it again, that uh, one of the number one things is consistently touching your business in some way, shape or form. You know, it's, uh, it's not, not, whatever that is, if you just want a little bit of money or a lot of cash, you know, whatever it is you're gunning for, a trip, you know, you, you, do, you do more, you get more typically. Uh, not always. Sometimes you can work hard and maybe it doesn't work, but by and large, you got to get out and try something. And so you did that, Sherry, and you've been very consistent, as have many of you. There's, it's so good to see and hear all of the victories that are happening in your team. So congratulations, Sherry. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, the other thing I want to share as a top tip is uh, we sometimes forget what uh, another key to success is, and that's a willingness to learn. And so for all of you to be on this call uh, is impressive. You know, it's about learning. And Sherry, you did a really beautiful job engaging people in your team to take different parts of the meeting because so many times we get we're nervous about being a leader, right? Because we think we have to we have to do it all, and it's not about that. It's about engaging other people to get involved. It's fun for, for everybody to get uh, have a piece of the meeting. So you do a really great job with that and it, it helps us as leaders and helps us. My son is in and out, he's, he's moving. Um, and so I think he came and raided the refrigerator because he probably doesn't have his food all pat unpacked yet. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, I'm, I'm really impressed by that. And um, I just want to say with, with hearing your victories too, one of the questions was, you know, what is the strategies for taste with simple longer term and you know, where are we going after it's our 25th birthday. Right. Uh, and I was talking to, um, to uh, a, a professional that I really admire um, uh, in Minneapolis and he's just been a great CEO uh, of, of another business. And we were chatting today and, and John said, you know, Jill, he said, it's, it is really impressive for this company to be, to be 25 years old. Uh, because you, he, he said when he speaks uh, to colleges or to, to entrepreneurs, he'll say, you know, he'll say, um, I've been in business for uh, 30 years. And he said, in starting out in, in uh, business, he said, we had no internet. And people are like, how did you, how did you do that <laughs> without internet? And it's true. We didn't have, I mean, I had a Facebook page, but I didn't know why. We just put, not Facebook, uh, uh, homepage, but didn't know why. And so, but I look, I think back on that and I thought how he said, it is very rare that a company can transform and sustain itself during all of those tra transitions into a whole different way of doing business. And I want to say that the, the, it has been so exciting to see the online parties getting such great legs uh, and, and people, it's just, 
it's super exciting. And I know many of you said it's COVID-19. And yes, I agree. More people are staying home. They're looking for what are they going to eat at home. And you were doing something. You weren't just sitting at home saying, well, it's COVID-19. I, I, hopefully I'll get some business from this. I mean, you have to open your mouth and ask. You know, you did something that made that happen. And so give yourself some credit. Think about what it was you were doing to be successful because it's important as you're bringing people into the team that you're sharing those lessons, right? But that is the one thing in the next uh, five, three to five years. I said, after COVID uh, is, you know, this all goes away and we're back to normal. I think that people are still going to be eating at home more, number one. Number two, I think they're going to be more hooked on Tastefully Simple because they get what we bring to the table, literally, in flavor. Um, and number three, you can still stack in a tasting party. You know, if somebody wants that experience, but, but I think people are going to see how easy, what, what was that, 1800 flipping dollar party? <laughs> was, was that was it 1800 Tammy? Yeah. $1,800. One flipping order. How much money did you make, Tammy? Do you know what, what what's your commission at $1,800? Oops, I Tammy, think you're muted. You're mute. Sorry, yeah. I was muted. I apologize. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was 35. Okay. Well, I, I, ended I always, up I always, even I keep the laminated, you know, okay. uh, ways to earn cash in my, uh, next to me always. So when you are selling uh, over $1,500 in a month, you make 30% and you're probably okay. going to be at 35%, right? Yeah. Yes. So I don't know my math. So I'm just going to take eighteen hundred dollars <laughs> times thirty percent. You made five hundred and forty flipping dollars. <laughs> five hundred and forty dollars. Now that's not going to happen every day, but you know, mm -hmm. well, it could. I suppose there's some people <laughs> doing a ton of these parties, but that's a ton of money. And and you did you do any sampling, Tammy? No. <laughs> Zero cost. Yeah. Did you give them? Did you give them catalogs? Probably a handful of catalogs, maybe. A few catalogs and I gave some um, samples as prizes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's all straight profit. It's just, it's amazing to me. And so, you know, out of anything where whenever times get dark and we're, we're, you know, questioning and feeling like, why is this happening and what's happening to me? Uh, you know, in most, most cases, uh, and if we look for it, I believe every case, there's something that's, that's positive that can come of it. And so I just think looking on into the future and what's ahead, it's absolutely leveraging technology in a major way. Uh, and along with that personal connection, because like you said too, you know, we talked about the, uh, you know, coaching and how you, uh, I sometimes call it hoaching. That's short for host coaching. It's one word. Uh, but Desiree, $6,300, you know, had to do with host coaching and, but it's connecting, you know, it's sending that video, which a video in a lot of ways, we're sitting here together as a group, and I still feel really connected, maybe even in a bigger way than I would if we were sitting in a meeting room together. So, you know, because you're close, you, you still are building a relationship, but in a different way. And so people like uh, that interaction of a video uh, and the opportunities with that instead of even just a phone call. Uh, but I still believe in the power of making a, you know, having a phone call as well. So anyway, that's one of the questions I know that y'all had asked about that I think is really key as we move forward. Does that make sense? Does anybody have any thoughts on that or questions? Do you agree that this is going to continue, that people will still want to do online parties? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. So it's exciting. I just think it's super exciting. <laughs> Um, let's see, you guys had a lot of questions. So one of the things that uh, you had asked about was um, somebody asked, who asked about, uh, well, who asked about how I named Tastefully Simple? All right. Yes. <laughs> so I, I, I added the question, Jill, because I love the story. Okay, okay, I'll share that because um, it was, uh, you know, I came up with the idea of Tasteless Simple on November uh, 14th of 1994. And do we have somebody coming in? I thought we were, thought we were gonna have one of those bombers on, you know, like a Zoom bomber. Perhaps others should mute. <laughs> I, I, that's, I'm, I'm kidding. But, oh, somebody might streak. 
<laughs> Does anybody even know what streaking is? Okay. Anyway, but when I came up with this idea for Taste So Simple in 1994, uh, in November, I started working on the business plan and what, you know, how would this look? How would we do this? And just try to figure out the model, right? Well, um, I ended up uh, thinking, well, before we could do anything, we're going to private label it. I'm going to have line illustrated catalogs. Many of you, some of you would remember that. Line illustrated catalogs because everybody was going to be seeing the products and tasting them. And so why do you have to have a big fancy catalog? A, B, it's expensive to do photography. And, and C or three, but I'm not sure where I am. <laughs> but, uh, you, you know, you can get to market faster than, than waiting for photography and doing a label. You know, I could just do a label and move, I could move fast. So, um, but I couldn't do that until I had a company name. <laughs> Dang it. So anyway, I started uh, doing a lot of brainstorming and, and came up with everything from yuppie yum yums to uh, uh, sterling platter to, oh, there were all kinds of purple cow. I mean, it, just, it was pages and pages of ideas, just brainstorming for about a month. And the, the name that we came up with that I was really excited about was, was Companies Coming. Oh, I know. So I went into the EDC, the Economic Development Commission, because you didn't have access to doing any kind of searches. And it wasn't through the internet. It was just like a way you could search their archives uh, through the, the nation's archives somehow and find out if those names were registered. So I'm searching and searching. So it came up that it had like 22 reg registered marks on the name Companies Coming. So I was just so bummed. And now I'm saying, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> But anyway, that it wasn't that it was taken because it wasn't a good name. I mean, it's not about just entertaining. This is every day, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I was. That was good that we found that out, and I found that out early. But then it was now what? So oh my goodness, it took three months to come up with the name. Taste was simple, and I remember. And I would, I would come up with names, and I put them on little ballots and pass them around to people. Say, vote on the one that you like the best, and they'd give me their their votes and. Uh, I, I bet you they were so sick of me by the time I was all just like if I was with friends or out and about I'd ask people anyway finally one day I thought you know what my mom who now has Alzheimer's and is in a care facility so I appreciate uh, you know uh, nursing care week um, and so she can't talk or walk or um, anything it doesn't doesn't know me but uh, my mom used to say that um, something when when she was trying to describe something to me she would say oh and it was just tastefully simple which meant it was not overdone you know it was just it was well done but simple and all of a sudden it just hit me i thought there you go i think it's tastefully simple it's kind of a mouthful and, and i'm sure you've had people call it tastefully sinful you know and some of those <laughs> other names so maybe it wasn't the perfect name, but my mom had a lot of quips and quotes, and that was one of them. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. That's the story. Is that what you're looking for, Sherry? Yeah, I love it. I think that's fantastic. Yeah. I want to respect your time, too. We have about five minutes left. I, I think, um, you know, one of the things that you asked about that I really liked is one of was how is the direct sales business doing overall, the industry? You know, with direct sales and I've been in contact with a lot of CEOs and direct sales companies because they're doing things through Zoom you know to keep us all connected which has been really good um, and I can tell you it really depends on the products um, uh, but a lot of companies are doing the ones who are getting into the online parties and hitting that really hard are doing well um, and those people of course in consumables um, they, they are doing very well as, but I don't know if I've heard, I think from what I, I try not to say anything, I ask how they're doing. Um, but I mean, I just, so far, I think we're kind of knocking it out of the park because there's not a lot of people who are doing food like we do exclusively. So that's been, and, and being more of a solution for people. So that's been a beautiful thing. Um, the other question, uh, somebody asked was what is your favorite part of, t of running tastefully simple? <laughs> who, who asked this? Anybody? I'm not okay. sure who asked that, Jill. I can't remember. That's okay. Sometimes I just, I, I like to put the question back to y'all and say, what do you, what would you guess? But I, I'll take it and run with it because, um, you know, I actually shared this on the Facebook page today about, um, you know, why, why I was excited about being in this business. And um, 
uh, you know, the flexibility of being home with Zach when he was two years old and um, all of those things that ended up being what, 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 what it was, what, what it created for everybody else, you know, I wasn't able to be home a lot in the early years, very early years, first couple of years I was, but after that, you know, I worked a lot of hours and I wasn't here for Zach as much when he was little, but uh, or as more as he got older, probably when he was really little. Um, I once told Zach uh, when we were in a, in a, in a vehicle, I mean, right where we were by Steinberg Motor, Motors in Alexandria, when I said to him, you know, Zach, I said, you know, I got part of why I did got into this business was because I wanted flexibility to be able to be home with you. And I said, ultimately, you know, he was little, he was maybe nine or years old or something, maybe 10, uh, because his dad died when I was, when, when, when Zach was five. And so as a single parent, you know, it was a, it was harder and I couldn't afford to hire, you know, anyway. So, um, but I said to him, you know, I got into this business because I wanted flexibility to be home with you. And I said, and you know, when things, things have shifted and changed and I said, uh, you, you've really become the sacrificial lamb, you know, because he, he, every, it's helped so many other people, women in particular, be able to be home with their kids uh, more if they wanted a part-time job and to have some extra cash and earn money and have an identity and some of those things. Um, and I said, but, you know, you ended up being the sacrificial lamb, thinking, not even thinking, he's not going to know what that means. He knew exactly what it meant, you know, so it was kind of like, Oh, okay. Well, I guess you have a bigger vocabulary than I did at age nine. But um, <laughs> so, you know, the, my favorite part of running Tastefully Simple was um, and is uh, I got excited. And, you know, I always say um, when uh, I had some PR, a P PR questions given to me for our 25th birthday. And, um, and one of them was about, um, you know, what, what is it that, um, you know, gets, gets you excited? And uh, what, what are some of the lessons learned is what it was about, you know, as we went through a turnaround and, you know, just, it was, um, it was a great exercise to go through. Uh, and I said, uh, you know, the, the, the beautiful thing about, about <laughs> all of this is how, if, if it hadn't been for my incredible uh, passion for ensuring that the Tastes of a brand would live on, you know, number one. Number two, to be able to keep our Tastely Simple team members employed, as well as be able to provide people with an income and having a, an entrepreneurial spirit that is so important to me because it builds us. You know, when you guys are earning a trip, it's like, hot damn. I, I've, I did that. And, and it's, you know, grace of God too, you know, you got out there, did the work and all that stuff too, but it's, you know, we feel better about ourselves when we know that we've accomplished something. We set our sights on something and it, it, it builds who we are. Uh, and so I said, in those lessons learned, it's always about listening to the whisper because so many people can tell us what, what they think we should do in our lives. So many people, there were very, very few people who were in the financial world that saw our finances and didn't think I was out of my flipping mind to keep this company going and not walk away. And, uh, but I said, ultimately, you can surround yourself with a lot of people's input, a lot of ideas, but you have to listen to your own, to the whisper. There's, there's something you're meant to be knowing and hearing, and it takes a heck of a lot of prayer, for me anyway, it did. It takes a lot of processing, and then pretty soon you just have to go, what am I really, what am I feeling here, and what's important to me? And so uh, my favorite part about running Taste Symbol to answer this question is around seeing how people can build that up in themselves. And as you get through that obstacle and you get through on the other side, it builds that muscle. And that muscle, you know, it might get weaker at certain points in our lives, but it never goes away. That muscle is still there when we, when we made it through something because of the business. And that's on top of personal things that can happen as well. Um, and I would also say that... Um, Rich DeVos, and I've, I, some of you may have heard this story before, but I'm going to tell it again anyway. Rich DeVos is the founder of Amway. And he was speaking at our Direct Selling Association conference many years ago. It's about 2004. We were exploding and busy, and, the, and we were building our new building, and it was just, ugh. So um, Rich DeVos was speaking, and frankly, I was not that excited to hear him speak. Because back in the 70s uh, and early 80s, they were doing this, this approach in, in the company, in the business, where they would have their salespeople tell people to come to this, this motivational speaker 
And when I got there with my friends and, and drove my old two-door Impala, and I had I made 400 bucks a month, so I couldn't afford the gas. And I drove to St. Cloud and heard this motivational speaker in the middle of the winter uh, and then found out it was a pitch. I learned a lot. I never forgot it. I thought, I don't ever do that. So I didn't like the approach that they used and how they were attracting people or turning people off in this case. But anyway, so Rich DeBoss spoke, but he said this, and I will, I've quoted it so many times. He said, entrepreneurs, which all of you are, you're all entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. entrepreneurs, and tell me if this fits for you, but he said, they get into the business because they want to build and create. What did I want to build and create? I wanted a lifestyle where I could have been homeless act more. It wasn't about money for me at all, ever. Still isn't. That isn't what drives me. Never. Um, and it's, it's a beautiful outcome. I'm not complaining. It's a beautiful outcome. But... Um, and he said, you get into it to build and create. And then that's, there's really can be four stages in our business. We get into it to build and create. And then once the business grows and we get really busy and, uh, and, and try to figure out who's in which office and who's doing what, and then we become, we start to manage and we manage things. And then the third thing is because we're not out building and creating, we're managing things. We become a defender of non-growth. And the last thing is, after we go to the defender of non-growth, we, we, we can start to blame. Well, I sat there, and I wasn't in the blaming stage necessarily, but, and not, not in defending non-growth, but we were, I was managing. And the other question was, what's my least favorite part of the business? I don't like to manage. I don't like managing things. I, don't, I want to get out and build and create. And I sat in that audience, and I thought, wow. That's what got me into this is I wanted to build and create something. So through all of the ups and downs with Tasteful is Simple and, and uh, when someone told me a couple, three years ago that I was the one who really needed to get it and leave this company again and I, I bought it, I just thought, I started crying when she told me this. I really, really respected this person. I said, I just can't, I, I, can't, I can't do it. I don't have that many, I don't have that in me. It's, it, it's all, I can't do all that plus everything I'm doing here too. Uh, and the way God worked, every, I started, I ended up leaving everybody again. But I will tell you this, in getting back into the business, it's building and creating again. It's building and creating. And that gets me geeked. I get really excited about that. So that was a long story. Sorry. <laughs> but can you guys relate to how many of you, anybody can relate to you like to build and create? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what keeps us geeked, right? We want to, and, and then we can fall away from it. And maybe we start just kind of manage or do our lives, but it's getting in and just building and creating that got me excited. So, um, so that was that. And it's 9.05. Shall we stop? Or do you want me to keep going? <laughs> well, Jill, my goodness. Thank you so much for your time You're and welcome. your energy and your insight and just everything. Gosh. We well, really it's been 25 years of just uh, such a blessing. And, and, you know, I got into this business again because it was swimming in Lake Me. You know, I wanted to, I wanted this, this, this is what I wanted. Ideal life, ideal business, ideal job. I didn't even know it was going to be a business. I just, this is my idea of job. But what keeps me in it is exactly helping and seeing people build and create. And I had a new awareness um, in the last couple, last week or so, I think it was. And that's what I love too, is learning along the way. That's what yep. keeps us young and fresh is continue to learn. But I had this aha and I thought, you know, I, I, it's, it's about building and creating and being an entrepreneur, but people build and create. What, what I think people hunger for is building and creating their life. You know, and you can do that through a business of being entrepreneurial or it's an entrepreneurial spirit in just your own personal development. Does that make sense? It doesn't, you don't have to necessarily have a taste of some of business. It's, I love seeing building and, and seeing people build and create their own life. And I think that is, um, that, that empowerment is, uh, there's just no words for that. And um, so I, I build and create and being an entrepreneur in a personal development side and in our business is really significant. And it's been 25 years of witnessing that and seeing so many stories, whether it's a new, uh, a new patio door and a swing set and a new dryer, you know, it's not about those things as much. Is it for you? Is it Laura? Not Laura. It's Scott. Tracy, <laughs> Tracy. I'm kidding. Her screen says Scott. My husband's Scott. <laughs> I know I'm teasing. We're, we're like, Diane Majerus? You're not Diane Majerus. We say at HQ. Anyway, 
Uh, but right, I mean, so was it just about the, the thing or what, how did you feel when that happened? It's, well, and a lot of the success goes back to COVID, but part of me was how can I help take care of people? Like, for example, I had somebody say, I'm awful at cooking and my family actually begs me to order this because it makes me a better <laughs> So that made me feel better that I was helping that family. Right, right. And I'm going to ask you to, to delete that from your, your, your uh, terminology that it's COVID because people are, will still cook. I mean, they're still going to cook and you're still helping them, you know? So it is about you having that mindset and that servant heart to say, I'm out there, I am helping people. And that is when we're not pushy. Yeah. When we are trying to get people to buy to serve us, that's called pushy. When we're out there and we truly believe, right? Do you feel that way? Yeah. Yeah. So you guys, happy birthday. It's our June, our birthday month, uh, last month of our of this recognition year. And Party Palooza is coming up, so I'm anxious to see uh, the recognition uh, at, at Party Palooza online and uh, and move into the next era. It's going to be, it's so exciting uh, what uh, what's ahead for all of us. So congratulations. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, and love you to the moon. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jill. Yeah, so oh, congratulations, Sherry. Yeah, good to see everybody. Yeah, good to see everybody. you're awesome. Thanks again.